excuse me. Pardon me if my voice is a bit unusual. I do seem to be coming down to something. A very slowly progressing cold. Quite annoying. Are you... Who are you? You're a Pardos. So you made it away from the, uh... From the farmstead up there. You grimace like a shadow beast with a horn ache. What's the matter? I'm Pardos. I worked for Bengar, and almost had mercy on him until recently. When the battle raged, I made my escape. Been sitting around waiting for something to happen since then. Well, that is a tragic tale. It's a shame we can't ask more about the battle and stuff. What happened to, uh. What happened, like, to the people who were displaced? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like Vilea probably does not know much about it. And the fact that the game does not permit us to ask. Especially because we as the player have limited knowledge of it. But, oh well. They couldn't get everything, I suppose. As you can see, Angar is here. Meaning we did not actually get... Uh, this mod assumes we did not have him as part of our crew to the Isle of Irdarath. Let's talk to him. You look exotic. Are you coming from afar? I'm from Mertana. I am Angar. This armor is a Templar's armor, an order that does not exist anymore. I've heard of the Templar. You're a fighter for the sect gurus, right? I don't want to talk about it. I'll see you later, Mr. Templar. Angar. Just Angar. Well, later. I'm sure we'll have some important dealings with you. Here's Wolf, another uh, character you could take with you on your crew. Once again, this game assumes you do not, because he is actually one of the least uh, useful ones, or at least the ones you're least likely to take, in my opinion. You just don't immediately think of him. He's a less relevant character, and there are more important people to choose over him. <laughs> How are you doing, though? Times have been better. Since Bengar's farm burned down, I'm just sitting around. Yeah, I forgot to mention... I don't think we did it, but we could actually get Wolf to guard Bengar's farm. I didn't do it because Malik got murdered. And that kind of made it completely pointless. How are you doing? I already asked that. If you got something I can do for you, let me know. Well, could you teach me how to use a bow? Can you teach me as well? You want to learn how to shoot a bow? No problem. I can teach you even for free. Keeps me busy. Well, you're awfully generous all of a sudden. Also become more dexterous. That is very useful. Teach me. You'll learn dexterity. Uh, do I have 10 or 20 learning points? I do not remember. Alright, we have 20. So, I've improved my bow skill. Slightly. It is now a 20. Not the most useful thing. There's a Shadow Beast skin here that is static and we cannot take it. Oh, the tragedy. However, there is something very important, something very critical that this mod has done for us. Something that infuriated me in Gothic 2 and makes me so happy that it works now. What am I talking about? This door. This door could not be opened in Gothic 2. You have no idea how much that infuriated me. But I digress. Here is Riga. I believe she was another worker on Sekov's farm. Someone not terribly relevant. Not now, I am busy. That's all just gossip. Now don't you want to tell me who you both are? I'm Riga, my friend is Barbara. You don't look very happy. We are not. We worked on Sekov's farm, but when women and son ran away, the old, the old man became even more hot-tempered. So we left too. The other farms don't want to employ us, and nobody's getting into town. Orland showed mercy on us for a few crumbs, so we may give him a hand. All this isn't great, though. You can trust us on that. Oh, that is sad. Want even more sad news? He's dead! Adnos show mercy on his greedy soul. Must be awful for poor, poor Rosie and poor Till. Well, we'll find out. Not sure a man like that is really worth crying over. Howdy, Barbara. Babs. I'm on the fritz from work. Well, okay. I'd rather talk to you, good sir. After I steal your beer. 
Are you at war here? So many armed men, even Onar does not have. Everywhere are orcs, beasts, and I don't know what else. And now even these Beliar lunatics as well. Can't be careful enough. Beliar lunatics? Can you sell me an armor? Can't offer more than a leather armor, which we already have. I guess that's just for consistency's sake, since he sold it in the last one. What can I order here? Well, he's got crazy weapons. Improved bows. Uh, we should be able to use a hunting bow now, right? With our 30 dexterity. Uh, no problem selling weapons, because... The game kind of scripts you in what ones you can actually use. Which is tragic. Uh, hang on to the skins, as I said before. We can sell them the ring, though, because I'm sure that's worthless. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so he won't really have any other weapons we want. I'm going to save more often in this one just because of how glitchy it is. Now let's check. I have 37 dexterity. Well, let's check something really quick. Well, does he have a bow for 40 dexterity? If he does, I'm willing to wait. He does not. He has one for 50. So we'll take that one. See y'alls later. By later, I mean right now. I do not like this bow, actually. And there's a very good reason for it. That I will demonstrate in just a moment. That's no secret. Alright, that'll do for now. See you later. Now time to see what is wrong with this bow. That is what is wrong with this bow. This as I don't think it's the only bow with this glitch. The other bow that has this, I believe, is a long bow, which looks exactly the same. But for some reason, it just keeps extending and retracting. It seems to get the weirdest boners at the weirdest time. And it annoys me greatly, so we are going to unequip it when we're not using it. I only want it because it is more powerful than the willow bow that we were just using. Uh, just previously had equipped. Uh, there's a message. This is the, uh... <gasps> Excuse me! Don't sneak up on a lady. I scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this should be the message for... Cord, or... Yeah, cord. Delivery postponed. Wait for it. Well... That's a bit tragic. Pray and donate 100. We get dexterity plus one. Sweet. But. Now we can rest. And do that a couple more times. To see if we can get our dexterity. Well actually I just. I forgot that it doesn't matter at this point. Alright. So we can go back to Cord. And let him know that the delivery is postponed. Or is that actually what we need to do? Paper instead of a package. All right. Uh, I guess we can head back and talk to him, or we can go. Well, we want to talk to uh, Thecla as well. What else did she want us to do? Oh, we we need a blessing from a priest of Enos. So let's head to dude whose name I cannot remember. He is the magician on the shrine on the way to the monastery. He should be able to bless us as he blesses everyone else who passes. <laughs> uh, let's try making use of this. Even when you have it equipped, it still does that, so it's quite annoying. All right. Our skill is not fantastic, but it is doing the trick. I don't know if I'll even really bother with magic. Because 
as, uh, as I said before, this game kind of restricts you in what you can do. Magic is not necessary, but you can only learn up to the first two circles, which greatly reduces its effectiveness later on. Especially granted that you will probably be investing in combat skills a lot before that point. You will not really have the uh, learning points to invest in mana and magic circles. And learning runes at that point. I'm not even sure... Oh. Well, I answered my uh, unasked question. I said I was going to say I wasn't sure where you even make runes. There's conveniently a rune table here now. Is Garoth. We shall bow to you. What are you doing out here? Outside the safe walls of the monastery. Are you playing fire mages? Whoa, I missed that. Sorry. My name is Vilea. I was there when the fire mages obstructed Orver and Gomez's evil plans in the barrier. Alas, in doing so, they perished. Oh, tragic tale. Your forgiveness, mage. I never want to imply anything similar. So, you did, did you know Torres, Cristo, and the others? Only by sight, Master. Most of my time I was locked in the castle, not allowed to do anything but saying these two sentences. Now go, you must not talk to me. Ha! That is a reference to the last game where all the females had only two phrases. I stay outside the monastery to get a view of those approaching. I give assistance to the ones who set out for this place and ask for it. Sometimes I also give lessons, and besides, I offer scrolls made by the monastery. <laughs> Could you give me a blessing? I'll do you the favor. You know, though, Enos doesn't pour his blessing without a return. That's why I'm giving you an assignment which you will fulfill for the glory of the Luminous One. Besides, you will remove a great threat to mankind. What is this threat? What should I do? Sure, you've heard of the dreadful events at the High Pastures. Paladins have fought gloriously and pleasing to Enos. Magicians seal the pass and won't put the butt done with that. They collapse the pass. That's what he's trying to say. For reasons you don't need to care about, we had to retreat in the evening of the battle. However, we were not able to bless all of the fallen. That is why they haunt every night as ghosts and undead on high pastures. You're telling me it is me who will... It's going to be me who will... Well, damn it, I'm... I'm, fo I'm sorry, I cannot read like this. Uh, I'll be giving you the blessing, my child. Also, I shall bless your weapons. Now you will forever banish the restless from this world. Are you willing to accept this great assignment? I guess so. Why me, of all people? And it's too much for an unexperienced girl. You're forgetting that with Inos's help, you're able to perform any assignment given only that you want to. Yeah, I think it takes more than that. You're the only person who's come here for weeks, anyway. Inos has selected you and only you to perform this assignment. Surely, surely. There's no other explanation. Alright, guess so. You do not actually have to do it straight away, thankfully. Nils, bless this fighter of thee, for that, for that she will bring light to the darkness of the world, blah blah blah. Bless her weapons, for they are instruments with which she will spread thine justice, thine mercy, and thine redemption among the mortal beings, the ones who have not yet come to thee. Cool. Can you teach me? Some time ago, the High Council concluded to allow ordinary people to learn some of Inos's magic. How do you come in this conclusion, if I may allow myself to question the last test of fire, some novices proved to be unworthy. We would still appreciate growth. So you also take women? No, no, what do you think? We to convince people the right way we want them to appreciate magic. Advertisement, I see. Once many people use magic, we're going to get many aspirants. And many aspirants means a lot of money. There's none of your concern, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. So we can learn more magic. <laughs> Uh, since we can learn it sooner than I thought, maybe we will actually go forth with that idea. We shall see. We can get that for a l for eh, not worth it. Never mind. So that's it. We have everything Thecla told us to get. 
and so we can return, uh, give Kord the bad news, but more importantly, talk to Thecla, and perhaps give just desserts to Dar. We'll see you back there. Is one of these guys Bodo? Yes, he is. I think we have uh, some news for him. Heard of your fight with Dar. Well, didn't we already uh, talk to him about this? So he wants news from outside the farm. And I think we got some for him. Sekov is dead. Probably suffocated from his own greed. Everyone has left, even Rosie and Till. Strange, I don't feel sorry for Sekov the Spleenish. Does that make me a bad person? Probably not. I would agree. He was kind of a dick. Bengar's farm is burned down. Not even a cockroach survived. Oh, poor Bengar. He must have mercy on his soul. Well, tragic, tragic. That is all the news we have, I'm afraid. Nothing good. We can give him a lot more in due time, but for now... That's all we know. We haven't gotten far from these these here pastures and uh, fields. It's all just gossip. Let's have a quick chat with Cord, then we'll talk with Thecla. And then see about doing the business with uh, Dar. Excuse me, Haystacks. Hey, you. As for Dar, Dar knocked me out. Lousy thing, no question of that. You think the time has come for me to take him, take him on? I understand. Well, well, what? Tell me now. The white, with the right weapon and some good luck, you will beat him. You may not be reckless, then you may cut it. Don't believe this would be a picnic compared to other what? Other what? About the package. Where is it? I only found this note on the shrine. I think it's for you. Damn it, Arg. If only I could leave him here. Is this good for nothing? Try to stall me or even cross me? I'll never do prepayment again. What's in the package? If I tell you, I can just just as well turn myself into in all clerics. So dramatic. I suppose it won't be that horribly bad, but it's carefulness that got me this old. So what is it? I won't tell you. Will you tell me if I get you the package directly from the supplier? Keen like a paladin, if you allow me on the pun and what. Ugh. I hate these fucking translations. Get me the package and I'll tell you what's in it, not what. Your name or a place where I can find out something? Of course, the guy's name is Rangar. He's a militia, eh? So, he's in town. Rangar. He was a drunk militia man who was always outside the uh, outdoor bar stand. So, he's the guy we have to talk to. But for now, I'm going to speak with... Hey, you. You are just up to something. Can I help you? Actually, yes, you can. I practice on the island near the waterfall every morning. Every morning, a guy will come watch me from the brink. Or right, before I can get to confront him, he will have skedaddled. If you may, just let him watch. What for it? I'd rather call him a peeping Tom, if you know what I mean. You're practicing... No, I take my clothes off only to swim. How exactly can I help you? If you could pretend to be me, I could... I would be able to lie in ambush by the brink and catch the guy red-handed while you... Well, wave around with a dagger, undress, and then get in the water. I'm to undress in front of a stranger? Don't worry, I'll have caught him before that. Well, I don't know. How can I convince you then? No secret. You don't have to ask me that. Tell me what you're gonna do with the guy once you've caught him. Who said that? That's been known a long time. I'm going to turn the tables. No Bind him to a tree naked and expose him to the vistas of others. I like it. I agree and I'm in. Alright, well we'll see you at the lake then. In the morning. That's cool. I could tell him more, but I don't feel like it right now. Not worth my time. As for your advice, I met Wolf. He will teach me to use a bow, free of charge. It's a useful ability. Yes, it shall prove itself. I have found a rapier. I thought I had already mentioned this. 
Must have been a crash last time that backtracked me more than I realized. And I have obtained Inos's blessing. You know the fire mages don't give it for free. They make you sweat even when you want Inos's protective hand over you. However, you have the blessing. That's most important. Thanks again for the good advice. Well, that's everything. That's really not my problem. Seems we have nothing more to really take care of. So, Cord thinks I'm good enough to beat Dar. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Assuming he still has exploitable AI like he... Like the usual low-level mercenaries do. I think we can deal with him. There's Volker. Here's Dar. I want to meet him outside, though. Just piss off, or was the first thrashing not enough for you? Um, okay, apparently we cannot do that. I'm not really sure when we can, then. Perhaps if we do more for Cord, or get more training in. Alright, alright. Well, we can do our training. Uh, let's read that again. Uh, we can go take care of the training. Or Once we deal with uh, the Peeping Tom, we should be able to do our training. So let's uh, quickly head on down there. Whee! I only do this in the interests of time, my friends. I just can't be bothered to wait that long. Got more important things to do. So all we gotta do is wait until morning. I believe Elena will meet us down here. There's Errol. Am I mistaken? I believe I might be mistaken. Oh, here she is. Do I have to give her my armor? Start our little charade. Remember, I'm going to catch the guy before you even need to undress. I'm going to hide behind the tree where he watches and get him when he's about to watch. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we don't need the armor. Aw, oh, crapple. Got wolves. Alrighty then. Oh, sweet, I can one hit him. Works for me. Makes his loads easier. Once again, get rid of that shit because it annoys the hell out of me. So bows can be extremely useful. Uh, let's save. So a little cinematic that follows this might actually crash it. That's just my experience. Right, well, I cannot actually sneak, but I don't think we necessarily need to for this guy. <laughs> He's got chill behind the tree. Not really see Elena from here, so I don't know how far she's gotten in the practice. And where is he? Is he in position? Yeah. Hey, you! Should knock this bastard down. Bonk! You'll regret this. Wait, really? I have to fight him like this? I just thought it was like a prompt or something. All right, well, I can't do this quite effectively. The guy gets too far past me. All right, well, we don't need to step as far as I have been doing. Yeah, gotcha once. Oh, yeah, you're down. Lesson for peeping time. Now, peeper, you are Rukar the drinker, right? I'm going to bend here, you here nakedly for two days. You will learn how it feels to be watched without protection. I'm going to fix a, fault, a small note for the passers-by so they won't unbind you. It's just an innocent joke. You cannot be serious. Unbind me, Birch. I don't think so. Trust me, you'll get calmer. Elena will come by to feed you every day so you don't starve. Later, you fool. I'm owing you. Once you need help, just let me know. I'll be here as soon as I can. 
only one could put a stop to these bastards activities more often. Take care. Thank you much. By the way, I'm leaving the farm. I fed up the back teeth with these idiots. Yes, they harass me all the time. What are you up to? I don't know. First, I'm going to learn how to defend myself. Then I'll let myself be surprised by what Inos has planned for me. Wish you all the best. If you need help, you know where to find me. Well, what can I get from you? Just food. Nothing useful. All right, what does this say? This shameless man has harassed blameless women. If you don't want it done to you, don't do it to us. Please do not feed. There's actually a photograph of me when I was uh, an infant. My parents were taking me out, taking us all out, all us kids for Halloween, and they couldn't get a good, uh, couldn't figure out a good costume idea for me. So they just wheeled me around in a stroller with a sign that says, please do not feed the animal. So yeah, there's that funny story, I suppose. Well, we should be able to train now. Yes, we can. It's time for my exercises. And that is where I shall leave it for you uh, fine ladies and gentlemen tonight. I don't think there are many ladies among you. Either way, this has been Vallea, episodes probably three and four. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.